Hi, this is Charlie Kim with Tap Into South Brunswick and Cranberry. Tonight we're at the second weekend of the Navratri Garba here at Crossroads South Middle School in Mama Junction. This is an annual event put on by a community, by the Indian and Desi community in, in South Brunswick. And it's kind of a religious festival that involves dancing and runs like nine nights and it's 8.30 p.m. until 1.30 a.m. It is a good way to learn about the cultural diversity of our township, and we're going to get started right now. My name is Dr. Tushar Patel. I am the Vice President of ISEFNJ. Indo-American Cultural Foundation of Central Jersey has been in the community for more than 15 years. We have been doing this Garba in South Brunswick for the last 10 years. Our dedicated uh, executive committee trustees and volunteers and other committee members have been working very hard for the last three to four months to bring this event together. And last weekend we had record-breaking crowd and again we hoping tomorrow will be uh, 1,500 to 1,700 people in uh, Crossroads South School. Next weekend on th October 31st, we will be at South Brunswick High School. Uh, ISEFNJ is doing uh, community uh, organization and community uh, events for many years. Independence Day, uh, picnic, and other events on a regular basis to bring uh, our uh, Indian heritage culture uh, together uh, on, on a forefront of uh, uh, New Jersey. And we have been working very hard to bring the community together and we're helping each other to uh, have a successful events like this. So I'm very thankful to Charlie and your team tap into South Brunswick for covering our event and we are very uh, fortunate to, to have you guys here and everyone happy Navratri, happy Dashera and upcoming Diwali, our Hindu festival coming up next month. So thank you very much. What can you tell me about tonight compared to the years you've done? You've done this for a lot of years. Yes, uh, I think the crowd is fantastic. We expecting the same crowd as the same last year and even last weekend. And uh, we've been doing since 1997. We formed this association in 1997. We've been doing this and uh, I mean, it's fantastic crowd. People are enjoying, all young kids are enjoying. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing more members who are non-Indian or, or non-Desi coming to this year after year. So it's really permeating out into the community. And that's part of one of the goals of the organization. Yes, uh, absolutely. You you say right on the nail. And I think uh, that's the, another goal we have it is to try to merge not our community only, but the other communities. So everybody understand what the culture we are coming from and they enjoy. And that's the most important thing, you know. Hey, I gotta ask you a question. You see all these people out there dancing around, they're dancing around. Nobody crashes into each other. How can you do that? I mean, that's, a, that's a Charlie good question and I think that's a, it's a typical way of dancing and they've been learned since their 
young. How old? How old do you start? They normally start probably some some kids start at two or three years old. Now is this just one big dance or is it several dances put together? Uh, it's gonna be a this is a one kind of dance you just show it for one and a half hour. Now we took a break. Now the second dance will start. It's gonna go about like hour hour. I don't know about but I mean the actual dance mechanics. Yeah. It, when you see them going around the circle, right. are they just doing one? Dance, or is that several combined? No, it's a several combined and also it's like individualized. It's not something that uh, I want to dance this way. You can always dance the way you want to dance. So there's going to be several different people. I saw different groups are dancing different ways. And again, it's a still same over Indian cultural dance. It's just, it's just amazing how so many dancers can be on the, you know, on the floor at the same time and nobody's bumping into each other or anything like that. Yeah. It all goes so yeah. smoothly, right? Yeah, it's, it's so smooth and I mean, people know when they're dancing with their steps and everything. So certain groups, they know when to step what. So they normally dance with their own groups, like 10, 15 people. They dance with their fast dance, okay? They dance with the different styles, different, different way of uh, dancing. So that's all different uh, groups dancing different way, and that's that's a really fun to watch this. So you enjoy all different people. Like that. Now, what do you say to, to people out there who may not be in, in the in the Disney community who look at this and say, next year, boy, I'd really like to come out and do that, but I don't know, I don't want to get out there and trip all over myself. No, no, but uh, again, what would you tell people like that to encourage them to come out? Well, the thing is, as I said, yes, definitely people are dancing, and they know how to dance. Even the people who does not know how to dance, they're going to have a space. You know, there's a big gym. So if you're not, and if you want to learn how to dance, including you, child, yeah. here we go. I mean, you are most welcome. People will be able, to, people will be more than happy to show you how to take the steps. Okay. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's a cultural as well as the religious event. Okay. And I think people will enjoy and I wish all of the people out there happy Navratri, happy Dasera. And please make sure you come next year and see what kind of culture and what kind of uh, a folk, Indian folk dance are there. So you'll really enjoy it. And uh, I, all I and, can say... And if you have time next week, yeah, after you please. collect your Halloween candy, it's going to be at the South Brunswick High School yes. next week. Yes. Uh, even today is Friday, so tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow Saturday we have same place, same time Garba here in Phosphorus South School. And next Saturday it will be in the South Brunswick High School. So please come, come one and all. We love, love to help every community, every different community, different people. And there is also, also, also uh, food available? Oh uh, yes, there is a food available, yes, there is a vendor. He's selling all the foods for in case if you become hungry or if you want water or soda, is available in the carpet area. So his vendor is serving the food. So it's a nice night out for you and your family to come on out and check it out. Absolutely. And it's always a fun as well as the religious, uh, uh, there's a relig religious, uh, I can say is, uh, the, the religious point is also there, you know. So. Okay. Thank you. A short break. At this time, I would like to call upon our President Hitesh Patel. Also, we have our Chairman, Mr. Murthy Yaramali, to look to call upon other Executive Committee member, Tushar Patel. And we have grand sponsors today and we would like to call upon on the stage they've been supporting for a long time for this event to be successful and i would like to call upon first and foremost uh, sunil nayak please we also have another grand sponsor we would like to call upon Pinakin Pathak, please. Also, we have a number of other sponsors in the audience. When we have Aarti, we will definitely recognize them. And if they are close by, we will try to call them on the stage. 
once again thank you thank you for coming thank you for supporting iac fnj and we will have a short break at 11:30 we are going to have aarti and after that we are going to have dadia ras sanedo so please don't go the cafeteria is open all the food is available so please enjoy the food while you are here make sure thank you tuja make make sure make sure not to bring the food in the gym as well as no drinks available i mean allowed in the gym so again please cooperate with us we thank you i hope you all of you are enjoying and we are enjoying as well as a iac fnj i personally thank you to none other than my good friend charlie kim a round of applause we're going to have a a, a live coverage online which is charlie kim and mary is here i thank you for that thank you first of all please give me your name and spell it for me genie g e n i e and last name coach maraju spell that please k o t h a m r a j u and how old are you 18 18 and you are morgan m o r g a n last name allery u l e r y and how old are you morgan 18 18 and what section of town are you guys from i'm from here well, what's south brunswick Mama Junction. Yeah, Mama Junction. And what section? I'm not from here. I'm from like the shore. Oh, where about? Yeah, I'm like Asbury Park. Asbury Park. Okay. Yeah. So you, you came out as a Malaysia. What brought you out tonight? Oh well, actually, no. We go to Rutgers. Like, yeah. Okay. So you met at Rutgers? Or? Yeah. And you invited her to the Navratri. Yeah, a bunch of my friends come here, so we wanted to come see them. Okay. And is this the first time you've ever been to this? Yeah. So tell me your impression of it. It's a lot of fun. Like I don't know. I really enjoyed it. It's kind of like being part of a bigger thing. I don't know why. I just liked it a lot. How, how long did it take you to pick up the dancing steps so that you're not pumping into everybody? Um, <laughs> not long. Not the, I mean, not even a minute. Like you got it real quick. Yeah. You know? I, mean, I, I did. I was out there taking pictures of the crowd. It just seemed to be when you see a line coming for you, get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's really the only way to get there. And, and how long have you been have you been doing the dancing? And... Since the beginning of high school. Yeah. So how old were you when you started? Fourteen, probably. Yeah. And what what does what does this festival mean for you? I'm not sure. It's something like I grew up with my family like participating in, so it's kind of just something I want to keep doing, and it's a lot of fun. I can't see why you wouldn't do it. And, and any thoughts that you have on, on tonight? Anything you're learning about the culture or from someplace else? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. And what do you study at Rutgers? What? What do you study at Rutgers? Oh, I'm undecided. So just everything right now. <laughs> Kind of liberal arts. And, yeah. And same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you'd like to people to people to know about tonight about this about this event? It's just fun. It's a lot of fun. Like, okay. even if you're not like part of the culture, just should come out and learn about it and enjoy it. Thank you very much, Elise.